This is the Harmony Silhouette in this factory special sonic blue finish. I've had this guitar for a few days now and I wanted to share my initial thoughts on it as well as some sound clips, go over the specs, talk about what I initially like and don't like about the guitar because as you know, things change over time and I am still in the honeymoon phase with this guitar. Like I said, I've only had it for a couple of days, so let's get into it. But as a quick disclaimer, this is a factory special from Harmony, so they normally don't offer this guitar in this color. I don't know if this is going to be just a one-off limited run or if they'll be doing more of these in the future. With that being said though, let's talk a little bit about the guitar first. So this guitar is part of Harmony's standard series line. And within that line, they have different guitars with different pickup configurations and different body styles and different colors. They even offer the silhouette with a Bixby bridge if you prefer that. This guitar retails for $1,299 and I got this one from Sweetwater. And speaking of Sweetwater, let's quickly go over how this guitar arrived. I've ordered four guitars from Sweetwater, including this one, and I've never had an issue with the guitar being damaged or any issues with packaging, things like that. This guitar came in the padded mono vertigo soft case and it was inside a box that had some bubble wrap in it and then all of that was inside a bigger box with extra packaging just to make sure that the guitar was nice and secure and it arrived without any issues. Now real quick, when I first got this guitar, I actually wanted to return it. I had let it acclimate for a few hours and I unboxed it and was playing it and I don't know what really happened, but my hand was sticking to the neck a little bit. It is a satin neck, but I think it's just finished with something. My hands didn't feel sweaty though, so I was a little confused and I reached out to my Sweetwater rep and said, hey, I'm just not vibing with the guitar. I would like to return it. He said, no problem. How about you actually hold on to the guitar over the weekend? Give me a call on, cause this was on, this was on a Friday and he said, give me a call on Monday. And if you still feel that way, we can go ahead and return the guitar, but just hang on to it for a little bit longer. And I actually appreciated that because I played it over the weekend and the more I played it, the more I really enjoyed the guitar. So quick shout out to my Sweetwater rep, Patrick, because that was some great advice. And I'm glad I hung on to this guitar because I've been enjoying playing it. So now let's go over the specs on this guitar real quick. Starting with the headstock, we've got the truss rod adjustment here, as well as the Harmony logo, and we've got six locking tuners that are in line, and there you go, they're locking, they're Harmony branded. We've got a maple neck with a C-shape profile, and it is bolt-on. We also have this belly cut here on the back. On the front side, we've got a rosewood fingerboard and it's got a 12 inch fingerboard radius 22 medium jumbo nickel frets a 25 inch scale length and we've got for the electronics two custom mini humbuckers that are gold foil a three-way toggle switch and then one volume knob one tone knob they are not push pull and they are actually cupcake knobs and then for the bridge we've got a half bridge that has compensated saddles. Lastly, the body is made of alder and the guitar weighs seven pounds, three ounces. Now I'm going to share some sound clips with you. The signal chain is the guitar going into this Horizon Devices Clarity Compressor, which is then going into my Universal Audio Volt 2 interface, and I'm using the Neural DSP Archetype Pliny X for all of the tones. <laughs>
let's go over my initial likes and dislikes on this guitar. I actually like a lot of things about it. So the points of contact are really comfortable for me. So the arm carve is nice. The belly carve is comfortable as well. The bridge, which I was a little nervous about, if you, if you would say, I thought it would be a little sharp. It's actually not. It feels really comfortable whether I'm palm muting or just down picking or just playing on it in general. No issues there. The frets are nice and smooth. They don't feel scratchy. The fret ends are really good. Nothing's poking my hand or anything like that. I also appreciate that the guitar is pretty lightweight. Seven pounds, three ounces. That's pretty light in my opinion. And it's just overall really comfortable to play. I also enjoy the sound of these pickups. I think they're really good. And last but most certainly not least, I like that everything is out of the way. So you have the toggle switches down here and the knobs are kind of off to the side here. So that way I can strum as wildly as I want and not worry about hitting anything. So at this point in time, the only thing that I dislike about the guitar is the slight bit of neck dive that it has. And if you don't know what that is, it's when the guitar, when you're holding it upright, it starts to pull down, it starts to dive a little bit. So that is not a big issue for me and it's not too drastic, but just something that I thought was worth mentioning. Now, real quick, why did I buy this guitar? Well, I actually stumbled across Harmony a couple of years ago. I think it was through Instagram, actually. And at the time, I think it was through someone I was following. And I was like, wow, that looks like a really cool guitar. And so I checked out the company and they had a lot of cool looking guitars that I was interested in. And the reason why it took me so long to get one was because I was actually trying to decide which one I wanted the most because they offer a single cut that's called the Jupiter and it's got two full size humbuckers. So I was leaning towards that one for a while. And then I was leaning towards another one of their models called the Juno, which is a smaller bodied single cut guitar with P90s. And then I was actually looking at the silhouette for a little bit too and slate but I ended up just not feeling 100% on one of those options. So I just waited. And then in December of 2023, Harmony actually made an Instagram post and it had this guitar in it. And I was like, that's the one. So when I saw that it was available via Sweetwater as a pre-order, I went ahead and got one. These were my initial impressions of the Harmony Silhouette guitar. But what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, stay cool like a cloud and have a great day.